Hey guys, we're here at Settlers Park and we're going to talk about uh, having a really good shoulder warm-up. Something that you'll need for a shoulder warm-up is weights or a band like this. All we really want to do is we want to activate this rotator cuff so that when you're swinging and you're dinking you have a lot of control. And that's usually what causes most pain during pickleball is that you, your shoulder and your shoulder joint doesn't have as much control. So with this band here, I'm going to slide around the bench seat and I'm going to grip it as hard as I can because when I grip things, my, my rotator cuff will activate a lot more. And I'm going to grip it and then I'm just going to lift up and I'm going to hold here. And I can walk back and forth like this to create a little bit more aberrant movement in the shoulder. And then I'm going to bring it back down. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do each set for about 20 seconds. Again, when you're holding your pickleball paddle, you're not gripping it with a death grip, which would, in, in theory, help with the control. But we're just going to do a nice warm up instead so you don't have to worry about death gripping your pickleball paddle. I'm going to set it back down. That's what we do for a shoulder warm up. If you have a weight that's about 25 pounds, you can also bring that. I'm not really fancy into bringing weights to play pickleball. But you can do the same thing. You'll just pick up the weight and you'll carry it about 50 meters, bring it back, set it back down, and perform it again. It's a great warm up. It's very simple and very effective. Because remember, no pain, more gains.